Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In this video, a very competitive 4.5 game played at an APP tournament at Pictona in Daytona Beach, Florida. Watching this game, I think there's one thing one team does just a little bit better than the other team that leads them to victory. Let me know if you agree with my assessment by leaving a comment in the comment section below. A big thank you to the YouTube channel Team Hanlon Pickleball for posting this video. Let's go. Here are the players. In the near court, the player in white, the player in black, in the far court, the player in blue, and the player in orange. The serve was already made and returned, so here is the third shot. Just popped up too high, popped up too high again, and the ball is easily put away. Third shot drive. Oh, oh a perfect setup. And she did not get to the ball in time. Look at her expression. She has her hand in front of her face. She knows she missed the opportunity. If she would have gotten closer to the ball quicker, she could have just taken that ball out of the air and put it away. She did not move up quickly enough. She could have had the shake and bake. Let's go back and take a look. I mean, this is a really good third shot drive by the player in white, setting her partner up for the shake and bake. And again, she did not get to the ball in time. She let it bounce instead. Oh my, she could have had that. And it went out of the court. Again, another ball that has just popped up too high. You've got to keep the ball lower than that. Good job. Very nice angle. Oh, clicked the paddles and the ball went out of the court. They both tried to get the ball that was hit down the middle of the court. Nope. Put away. Very, very easy put away. The third shot is just so important. Let's see if they can do better this time. Nope. Nice reset. Good job. Hit again too high. Put away down the middle of the court. Can she reset it? She's trying. She's almost there. Oh, great job. Good shot there. Third shot drop. Nice job. Quick hands just hit the top of the net. And missed the backhand. But so far, I like the play of the players in the near court. The third shots are pretty good. They have a drive and a drop. The ladies in the backcourt, not so much. I don't think their third shot is as strong as the players in the near court. And if they are to lose this match, that probably will be one of the contributing factors. Good defense, good hands. Good shot. That is just textbook. Very, very nice. Oh, I think that ball landed inside the core, but that was a very nice speed up by the player in black. She was very patient. She waited for a high ball, and she did a backhand flick, but the lady in the far court did a good job of getting her paddle up and defending that ball. And there's just a mistake, a free point for the team in the near court as she hit the return of serve into the net. That's just good. Pop straight up. Oh, she had a chance at the shake and bake again and could not pull it off and lost the point. Again, a big thanks to Team Handling Pickleball for posting this video. They have a lot of videos posted on their YouTube channel. They travel around the country videoing these matches at different events. So check out their YouTube channel sometimes. Again, the title of it is Team Handling Pickleball. Put it away. 
Yeah, just cannot reset that ball. So, again, I am going to give the advantage to the team in the near court because they are just doing a better job with their third shots. One, two, two. Goodbye. Hitting a ball at a player's feet can cause that pop-up to happen. Oh, that is just perfect. Backhand into the corner of the court. And there's, oh, this good hands. And she ended up hitting that ball out. That was a very, very good point. Let's go back and take a look. This is just very good play. Watch this third shot drop. Perfect. Good hands right there. Put it away, and that's good hands again. The lady in blue, very nice job of getting both of those balls back. Players at lower levels could not have gotten that ball back. At least I don't think they could have. A quick timeout to tell you about my online pickleball store, pickleballprintables.com, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. T-shirts, coffee mugs, tumblers, totes, caps, and kiss cut stickers. 65 clear, crisp, and clean designs to choose from. Use the coupon code YouTube and get 10% off your first order. Dink in style. Go to www.pickleballprintables.com or click the link in the description below. Oh, just missed the two-handed backhand. That's a very difficult shot from that far back of the court to get that backhand to drop into the kitchen. One, two, one. But nice try. There we go again with the third shot. It is just so important. And she missed that backhand. One, two, two. Ooh. Third shot drive. Good job by the lady in black. Now put it away. There you go. You can probably hear the commentator's remarks. He just congratulated the player on a real nice drive, which it was. Nice drive again. Good defense. Good hands. Oh, man. Just took that out of the air and hit it at her feet. Good play. Let's go back and take a look at what happens here. The ball hits the tape. She hits it back. And look how big of a swing the lady in white took. Let's go back and take a look here. Got it? Look how big a swing she took. And she hit it right into the bottom of the net. That is more of a wrist flick that she should have done. Instead, she just took a tremendous swing. And the ball went right down into the Back net. One, two, one. Nice try. Just hit it into the net. Um, there was an opening, as the announcer said, and she just missed it. Got a little bit too anxious, I think. Nice angle. She tried to reset that ball three times, and the lady in black was able to reach into the kitchen and take the ball out of the air. She is a taller player. She has a long reach, and she can do that. She doesn't have to let it bounce in order to get to the ball. Great job. Nice hands. Oh, just missed it. I think that's worth taking a look at again. Very strong drive. Nice hands by the lady in orange three times in a row. And the lady in blue just misses her backhand. When you're at the non-volley zone, you're only 14 feet apart. And you really have to have quick reactions like these ladies do. Drive out of the court. I really don't know which direction the wind is blowing, but I would have to think maybe it is at the players in the near court's back. That's just so good. Just so good. What caused that? Watch this third shot here. The lady in blue has to pop this ball up. And she's able to do a backhand flick that is popped up, and she puts it away. 
Very nice play by the player in black. This game is being played to 15. Couldn't quite get it over. She was falling back when she hit that shot. Oh, got the roll of the tape. Falls into the court. And she's apologizing. One for two. Ooh. Wow. What happened there is she tries to speed this ball up and look where the ball is. It's barely above her knees. This is a very difficult shot to get over the net when the ball is this low and a player tries to speed the ball up. The better option would have been just to dink the ball back into the kitchen, but watch what happens. Boom. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to mention it again, the team in the near court is just better at their third shots than the team in the back court. Third shot drive out of the court. Uh, she tried to swing at it, but it landed. Okay. Not sure why she did that. But good job with the players in the back court not to put their paddle up and hit that ball. Let's see if they try something different. Yes, they did. Trying to reset it. Just another big swipe at it. Continues to try to reset it, just can't do it. Hits the tape and rolls out of the court. That was just unfortunate because the players in the far court were not able to reset that ball in the kitchen. They really, I don't think they deserve that point, but that was a good shot. Good job, too high. Can't do that. Good job by the lady in blue to hit that ball as hard as she did right at the player in white. Four four two, great return there. I think she wasn't quite sure if that was going to stay in, but it landed on that back line. Nope. Did it again. I think her biggest issue is she just takes too big of a swing. Now, what's interesting in this match is this is a tournament. And the question is, will the players in the far court target the player in white? And I am only saying that because the player in black is taller, she has a longer reach, and it just seems like she is getting to more balls and keeping them in the court than the player in white is. That's just not good enough. That's not good enough. Good defense. Can they get up? Oh, nice job eventually put away. The player in black is a very good player. Great job. A lob to keep them in the point and two drives to win the point. Nice two-handed backhand. Great grab. Another one. Great now grab. she's on a roll here. Looking for an opportunity. Six five one. Fantastic return, but a good third drop. Nice job. Again, the player in black. This is a very difficult shot. Watch what she does on the third shot. Six five one. Here it comes. Look how deep this return is. It is at the baseline. She is backing up to have to hit this third shot. And she hits it with her backhand and right almost into the kitchen. The ball is popped up. Return, but a good third drop. And the fifth shot in the air. That lady really could have done a better job of putting that ball away. Was just not able to. It was right in her wheelhouse. Very competitive match so far. That's a great shot right there. And she knocks it out of the court. Oh, nice 
Nice drive. Nice drive. Very nice. nice a little top spin on it. Targeted to the woman in the white shirt. Wow, that ball stayed in. I cannot blame the lady in white for letting that ball go. She swung as hard as she could, and somehow that ball landed in the court. That will tie it up, 7 7 1. Good defense. Oh, that ball landed in the court as well. Nice shot. Nice touch. Eight to seven. The, actually, the team in the, uh, the near court now is winning by the score of eight to seven. Yep, couldn't move up. Let's go take a look. And this is usually what's going to happen if you cannot get out of the transition zone. So here we go. Look where the ladies are. They are stuck in the transition zone. Their opponents are at the non-volley zone. In this situation, the team at the non-volley zone should win this point about 80% of the time, unless they make an unforced error. Yep, there you go. And she's kind of motioned with her hand that she should have been further up. Nice job getting to the non-volley zone. Now it's anybody's point. Oh, nice shot. That was a nice, nice speed up. Down that outside edge. Seven, eight, one. Good nice draw. job. That lady in black is a good player. Third shot dropped that forced the player in blue to just pop the ball up. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, Not as good shot. a shot as the player in black out. had. A just too high. Ball, just to make sure it Lady in blue put it away when given the opportunity. Nice hands, but it sailed out of the court, I think. Tied up, 8-8-1. Good, good third shot. That was a nice try. I mean, she did everything right. She got that one over. Now watch her bend her knees. Her knees are really bent going down to get this ball. That is just the perfect form to go and get a ball that is hit at your feet. And she just hits it into the net. But nice try. Good shot. They've gotten better with their third shots as the idea. game has progressed. But it's not a bad idea. It's just you you start making that move and you kind of don't even Wow, that was just a, a very bad. very oh, shallow return. So I think it. a return needs to be much much idea. deeper than this. Watch how shallow this is. I don't even think that went over the non volley zone. Player in white is able to get to it. And now uh, the point is over. Yeah, you've just got to do a little bit better job of getting the return to serve deeper into the court. Every time I do that, I just kind of freak out. Much better. Nice third shot. Nice. That was perfect. Watch the lady in white. Third shot. Perfect. Right here. Boom. Yeah, nice shot. Very well executed. Inside out. Nope. Good job. Good defense. Oh, that ball was going out of the court. Popped it up and put away. Oh, goodbye. Oh, and to the net. Oh, my. Just missed it. Popped straight up. Oh, and just got a little too anxious and hit that backhand into the net, and that's a really bad feeling. Missed the serve. That's surprising. But it does happen. Nice attacks. Oh. oh, wow. Couple of things here. Again, watch how shallow this return of serve is. Boom. About mid-court, she's able to drive it. That's very, very good with the hands there. Kind of pops it up. Oh, she got that in somehow. And somehow that hit the top of the tape and rolled over. 13-8-1. Nice. Just really nice backhand drive. Watch this. Had some top spin on it. Hit it right down the middle of the court, and there's just nothing the team in the near court can do. 
So they're calling another timeout. I'm pretty convinced the player in white is also a tennis player. She takes really big swings. She has a two-handed backhand. Sometimes that big swing works. Sometimes it doesn't. In that case, it did. Goodbye. Nope. Nice defense. Put it away. Can't do it. Oh, and she hits it into the net. The team in the backcourt was able to stay in that point despite hitting the ball up a couple of times. The score is 8-14, to 14, I believe. Nope. Nope. The lady in black her, is just too tall, and that is just too easy. This game is about over, and I'm going to say it again. The team in the far court is winning because they are just better at third shots and resets. The team in the near court is having a more difficult time hitting the ball into the kitchen. They have just popped it up more than their opponent. 9-14-2. That's out of the court. That time the team in the far court popped the ball up. 10-14, the team in the near court is making a little bit of a run here. 10-14-2, good serve on the backhand side. Oh, yep, nice. look at this. So what happens? Here comes the serve. Watch the return and watch the third shot. Good serve on the there it is. That is just not good enough at the 4.5 level. You have got to be able to hit that third shot into the kitchen. The lady in orange is cheating to the center of the court and the player in white is smart enough to see what's going on here and look how open the court is here. And what does she do? She hits it right there. That is just great. Very good court awareness of where her opponents were on the court. Oh, that hit the top of her paddle. And I think what happened was the team in the near court lost track of what side of the court they were supposed to be serving. They served incorrectly or they returned incorrectly. And they're giving the game to the players in the far court. They win 15 to 11, I believe. They're not too happy about it. You know, you really hate to see a game end like that because who knows, the team in the near court could have come back, but the judge is having nothing of it, and he awards the game to the players in the far court. So there you have it, a very competitive game that unfortunately ended on a technicality. But you've got to play by the rules. I think if it was a recreational match, no big deal, but this is a tournament with a line judge and he had to call it. Overall, how do you think these players did? I'd like to know, so please leave a comment in the comments section below. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And don't forget to check out my online pickleball store, pickleballprintables.com, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching, and see you on the court.